hi you guys welcome back to another video so i have a sneak peek today and i'm so happy about it you guys for several reasons um first of all bella art diamonds is having new releases you guys so that is really good news they are going to be releasing 34 new kits on march the 2nd i am not sure of the time so i will definitely link Bella Art Diamonds and all of their socials down below in my description box so you can go and follow them and keep up with the time. Also, you guys, they're having a really cool giveaway going on. So the giveaway is open internationally and to be in the giveaway, you have to listen to all of the sneak peekers videos and listen for a keyword and then fill out the google form and then you're entered in the giveaway you have one week to respond the drawing will be live on bella art day nicole's youtube channel on march 9th at 1 30 p.m mountain time so definitely go to google and match up your time with mountain time because i'm not on the same time either so definitely match it up so you can make sure you're checking out things at the correct time in your time zone but the Google form, you guys, will be posted once all of the Sneak Peekers videos are up. So definitely listen for the keyword. I'm going to have the keyword in my video as well. And I'll tell you guys what I'm going to, um, what I'm telling you the keyword, obviously. So, um, and I will make sure I remind you guys of the Google form link as well once it is posted. So let's go ahead and see what I have for the Sneak Peek. So... First of all, you guys, another thing I was excited about was the size of the box. Like, it was smaller and it wasn't heavy. So, I'm like, I finally got something that is a more manageable size for me right now, especially since I have, like, went out of diamond painting. I took a break and now I'm back at it again. So, this is not too big for me. So, I'm loving the size. So, this one is um, this kit here. It's called Bookworm and it's by Lauren Laguerre. I think that's how you say the name and it is a 40 by 41 centimeters 15.75 by 16.14 inches and this is square drills you guys so I'm excited about it being square because I have never tried Bella Art Diamond Square I've only done four of their rounds and I want to give their squares a try and I have to be honest y'all I'm super and when I say super, I mean I'm super picky with the square. So I would definitely let y'all know um, how that works out for me. Um, I do want to point out real quick that on the box, there is instructions on how to diamond paint. So if you don't know how, um, there is instructions, you guys. And I love this, especially when it's printed on the box because you're not wasting paper by putting another piece of paper in here to give you instructions. So I like that, I'm just a very green person, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing is you get the Bella Art Day Nicole. I think this is called the Essential Tray. So this is always in all of the kits and I have a ton of these, but I love them. And you have your tool kit, so we're gonna look at that. This is stuck. Oh no, it's not stuck. Hold on. Alright, let's get the drills out. And then is there a sticker machine? Is it? Oh no, I don't think there's one. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Oh my gosh. Alright. So the toolkit is standard toolkit. I know if you've seen one, you've seen them all, but I will definitely show you guys what is in here. So you have a pen. A regular pen. You have some tweezers that I am not going to take the cover off because these are really, really sharp, y'all. And they will hurt you, so be careful if you're using them. You have... What else is in here? You have your squish. Some blue wax, which I've never tried blue wax, so I'm going to try this. Some washi tape, and this is like, I don't know, it's like stars, and it looks like fireworks or something. Really cool. And then you have some placers to put on the back of the pen. So that is what you have in your toolkit. Let's look at the sticker and see how many colors. 
Okay, so it's 47 colors and it's one, two, four ABs. And this is the image again. I think this is so cute, you guys. Look at the books and stuff on the shelf. The little ghost, the book on the floor. Wow, this is so cool. And so here are the diamonds. Now, I'm not going to take all these out. Y'all know I do not be doing all that. But I will um, take out the ABs and look at those. So let me roll this canvas back real quick. So I don't peek at it. And the canvas, y'all, it feels just like how all my other canvases from them felt. It feels great. I'm 100% sure it's not going to tear or anything. So they do have good quality canvases. So let's look. So yeah, you guys, it is so little. Okay, I'm so happy about the size. Wow, I, it, I should be able to work this up quick. But it being a square, I'm kind of still a square, so we'll see. So right away, you see the color key here, number 1 through 47. Um, and it goes this way. And then if you are a flipper, the canvas also has the color key going the opposite di uh, direction. If you diamond paint upside down, I diamond paint upside down, sideways, diagonal. So I use this sometimes, but not all the time. But I really like it, you guys. I think it's so cute. So you guys, my keyword for my video is ghost. I had to have that as a keyword because I have a little cute ghost. So that is the keyword for um, the giveaway um, part in my video. And the keyword again is ghost. So let's look at where the ABs go. So again, it's four of them. My whole one, so. All right, let's look. I'm just so happy this is small. You guys got no idea, like, ooh, the size of these big canvases, they're wearing me out. Oh, we got some loose diamonds in here, so hopefully it's just, like, one and not too many. And I love that the bags um, are numbered, and they're in numbered order. And the um, thing here, that's another reason why I don't want to take them out. And then you have your ABs at the back, so... They're easy to find, and everything is going to stay organized. Wait a minute, that ain't no AB. No. Okay, so you don't have much AB, but you probably don't need much with this canvas being dark. Oh, I've never seen this gray one before. What number is that? Number 318? Okay, I like that. Okay, let's look at where they go. Let's look at where they go. So we have number 44, and that's the um, the bacon symbol with the two little squiggly lines. And y'all, I do not eat bacon, but I just equate that symbol to looking like a, two strips of bacon. But yeah, let's look for the bacon. Is it the bacon? Yeah, it's the bacon. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so the bacon symbol is all in the ghost here in his little body. So that's where this um, like lilac, lilac y color goes. So number 45, the gray color, and this is like a shape. I don't know what shape it is, but number 318 AB goes. It goes right here in this candle. So it's just a small, like a small area of it. It's not, it's not a lot at all. So as you can see, it's not a lot. Number 46 is right here. It's this yellow. And that one also goes in the um, candle as well. So up there. And then the 5200 is the check mark, and that immediately I saw where that went. It goes right here on the outside of the ghost. So this being a dark canvas, I'm noticing that um, the symbols are not, not hard to see, like you can see them. Why is my camera looking like it's dirty? Okay, there we go. So you can see them. They look, they look okay. We're going to have to see once I really get it under the proper lighting that I use. 
Oh my God, you guys, you know what I'm noticing is that there's no grid lines here. Oh no. Yeah, so this being my first square, it could be just me being like finicky about stuff. But yeah, there is no grid lines on the three. And I'm looking, and I think it's just on the three. The three is just down here in the ghost. It's a little bit up in the books. And this canvas is giving confetti, but like color blocking confetti, if that makes sense. So it's not too bad. Like I said, it's really small. But yeah, it's just the threes that don't have um, the grid around them. But I'm going to work around it, and I definitely will let you guys know during my post review um, how it was. But it's not, it's just, like I said, that one symbol. But everything else looks fine. Yeah, so I am excited to work on this. So as always, you guys, when I work on my Bella Art Diamonds canvases, I update row by row by row. So definitely follow my TikTok. It is Whitney Diamond Paints. My Instagram, Whitney Diamond Paints. And of course, you are here on my YouTube, Whitney Diamond Paints. So I am going to go ahead and end the video here, but I'm excited. When I tell y'all I'm excited to work on this, I'm going to get this up like as soon as I get off this video and I'm going to start it because I want to like see, just get a feel for everything, especially since it is a square. Um, but I will link Bella Art Diamonds, everything that you need to know down below. So definitely check them out, watch them for that release. But that is it for this video. Do not forget to like, comment, share my videos, you guys. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notification button to be notified of when I post new videos. I love you guys so much. Take care and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye.